In this example, we're gonna kind of investigate what happens when we make monthly payments on a loan. Uh, so the situation is that I take a car loan out for $9,000 at 6.1% interest annually from a local credit union. The loan is to be paid back over a 72 month period and the monthly payments are $150. So the idea here is that this $150 um, goes toward two things. First of all, it has to pay any interest that's built up over that one month. And then it also, uh, after that, can pay off the balance of the loan or the principal of the loan and, and go toward working that down. And so part A says, what amount of my first month's payment will be interest? Well, since it's asking us how much um, that first month is interest, we need to calculate the interest that would be built up in that first month. So of course you're using I equals PRT and of course our principal here is 9,000 because this is the first month, we haven't made any payments yet. 6.1% um, is 0 0.061 and then uh, finally we're multiplying by the length of time and remember the time is always in years. So one month would be one twelfth. Okay. So uh, we can do a little reducing with this twelve. Uh, first of all, you can recognize that nine thousand is divisible by three. Divided by three is three thousand. Twelve divided by three is four. And then uh, 3,000 is also divisible by four, so we can take 3,000 divided by four, and you know, over here on the side, I'll go ahead and do that. So four goes into 30, of course, seven times, and four goes into 25 times, so we get 750. So 750 is what I get here, and then of course four divided by four is one. So all I'm left with here is that my interest is going to be 750 times 0 0.061. So let's go ahead and multiply that out. Okay, and that's 42 plus three is 45. So we end up with $45.75. So what this means is that if my payment is $150, I'm first gonna take $45.75 away from the 150. That's just paying off interest. And then the remaining amount of money, um, which is just over $100, that can go toward paying down the car loan. And so if we were to ask the same question for the second month's payment, we could then take our new balance, which would be um, you know, around $8,900 and use that for P. Okay. But part B asks us to then take this number and, f and find out what percent of my first month's payment will be interest. Right? So as a percentage of your payment, um, how much of its interest? So what we really need to know is, you know, uh, 4575 is what percent of $150? Okay, so that's just going to be 4575 equals what percent x times 150. And of course, I can divide both sides by 150. So over here we have 45.75 divided by 150. And let's see, 150 goes into 457. Um, that's gonna happen three times. So we have a zero here, three there. The remainder is seven, drop down the five. 150 uh, does not go into 75, so we put a zero there and we'll add another zero. So 150 goes into 750 exactly five times. 
So what this means is x is 0 0.305, but of course we want the answer as a percent. So that means that 30.5% of the first month's payment is interest. And what happens is each month the percentage that is interest gets a little less and the percentage that goes toward the principal becomes a little bit more. So that at the beginning of uh, your period of paying off a loan, you're paying a lot of interest. And if you take, for example, a, a, a house mortgage, um, you're paying a ton of interest, a way higher percentage than 30.5%. And so when you make those payments, you're um, paying most of it in interest. And so that's why, you know, if you say move to a town and you're only going to live there for a year, um, you probably don't want to buy a house because, um, yes, you'll be making payments, but almost all of the payments, uh, all of each payment is going to be going toward interest rather than paying down the principal.